Hi, my name is Mark A. Jager. You can find some of my work on Vimeo and YouTube channel Mark A. Jager. I am on a quest for some new video glass. I prefer to field test lenses before I buy. This video is a summary with example footage of what I learned about the Fujinon Premista lenses. I'm going to hit the detail in a moment, but my bottom line is the Premista lenses are par focal and don't focus breathe. They have nice round bokeh, insignificant edge distortion, and well controlled flare. They are well built and very nice to operate. They are not inexpensive. Because a single image can sometimes be striking, I've placed the Nikon full frame 24-70 f2.8 lens next to the Premista 28-100 and the Nikon 70-200 f2.8 next to the Premista 80-250. It is easy to see that these lenses are vastly different. There are presently two Premista lenses, a 28-100 T2.9 and an 80-250 T2.9. The 28-100 is slightly over 10 inches long, has a 114 millimeter front diameter and weighs 8.38 pounds. The 80-250 is T2.9 over the range of 80-200 millimeters and T3.5 from 201 to 250. The 80 to 250 is the same length, weight, and configuration as the 28 to 100. Let's begin the detail by examining the 28 to 100 Premista lens in close up. Here you can see the focus ring, the focal length ring, and the aperture ring. Each includes 0.8 gearing. The PL mount includes an electronic connection for lens to camera communication. The back focus can be adjusted with a hex driver and rotation of the green ring. You avoid the bother of shimming. There's an integral support foot and a connection for recording extended data which allows shading and distortion correction for VFX work. The Premista lenses will close focus. The 28 to 100 will focus at 2.6 feet and the 80 to 250 will focus at 4.92 feet. The Premista includes the Cook slash I information with the results that lens focal length and depth of field shows in the red monitor and is recorded as metadata in the red and some other camera raw files. As I change focal length and focus, you can see the depth of field update. This is super. Handy. The Premista lenses have 13 blade apertures. Here you can see the 28 to 100 focused on a subject at 4 feet and at 28 millimeters with some fairy lights on the back wall. As I rack focus, you can see the bokeh is nice and round with soft edges. Next, I examined focus breathing. In this example, Premista is wide open at 28 millimeters and I'm adjusting focus from three and a half feet to infinity. I repeated the test at 100 millimeters. You can see that the image is stable with indiscernible breathing. Next, I'm showing three examples to demonstrate that the Premistas are parfocal. In the first example, there's a truck at 28 millimeters and I zoom to 100 millimeters. In the second example, I focus on the hangar wall across from me at 28 millimeters, pan to the building end, and zoom to 100 millimeters. In the third example, I focus on the building at 80 millimeters, pan to the opposite end, and zoom to 250. In each case, the focus remained spot on, even though the focal length changed over the full range of the lens. Lens edge distortion in the Premista is slight or inconsequential. In the first example, you can see the shelving at 28 millimeters as I pan. I repeated the test at 100 millimeters. If you examine the shelving verticals and horizontals, you can see the beams are straight. Thus, distortion is somewhere between slight and non existent. The dominant effect in this test is perspective changes causing the shelves to appear to lean back a bit. The next subject is flare. I began by showing the classic LED flashlight test in a dark studio at three different brightness levels. 
you can see the flare is well controlled. I've also included a sunset shot shooting directly into the sun with a pretty hazy sky. The focus roll-off for the pre-mista lenses is smooth as expected. In the first example, I used 28mm T2.9. In the second example, 80mm was used. The third example used 250mm. As one would expect, the depth of field is reduced as the focal length increases. The fall-off is symmetric and smoothly progressive in each case. The Premista lenses cover a 46.3 millimeter image circle, which just happens to match the sensors on my Red Monstro. With the Premista lenses, I did not get the corner shading I get with full frame lenses. As you can see in the test shots, there is excellent coverage corner to corner. There's one last topic before I end. This example demonstrates the range of composition that the 28 to 100 Premista affords a landscape videographer like me. You can see that I begin with a wide shot at 28 millimeters and then I zoom, albeit not so smoothly, to 100 millimeters. This one lens would cover the work I might have needed to shoot with several primes. The takeaway for these lenses is images are warm and rich. The lenses deliver all the resolution your sensor can accept, right up to 8K and probably beyond. The lenses are parfocal and don't focus breathe. They have nice round bokeh, insignificant edge distortion, and very well controlled flare. The Premista lenses are top quality in every respect. Now that's it for this video. I hope you found the information valuable. There is one lingering problem. Now, I want at least the 28 to 100. Thanks for watching.